Welcome back to the Composer Mindset. This is Daniel. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to take this opportunity to remind you to like and subscribe and share. And if you're on YouTube, uh, check that notifications bell so you can be updated whenever I post a new video. I've been trying to do this every day uh, with this project. I've been making very steady progress every day and I'm just about done with spring from the Q-Tube. Uh, the score is just about finished. So, yeah, let's see where we're at here. Let's take a look. I just have a few little things that I want to do. And then I think that's going to be it. And it's going to be time to um, stem this out and start mixing. I think the mix is going to go pretty fast with this one. Pretty standard. Pretty standard mixing. It's just a regular old orchestral color palette there's no like heavily processed elements or anything like that so anyway let's take a listen that's enough talking let's dive in Little playback issue there. There's a big tempo change and the CPU dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with all of that. Um, so we're really down, really in the home stretch here. There's just a few things, I like very minor things that I, I wanted to do here. 
Um, so on my list here, I wanted to add to check the vibrato on the solo violin. And I already did that. And apparently on this uh, violin sample, vibrato is not a parameter you can adjust. <laughs> so I'm going to take that out. All right, so here's what's left to do. Um, humanization, need to add some expression to the low strings at the end. Uh, some tin whistle in the introduction and a few low elements in the beginning and then there's some some subtle tweaks I want to do here where this girl almost gets the girl and her dog almost get crushed by this creature's foot in this very sensitive spot right here so let's let's start with this all right so I wish I could change the vibrato on that violin. Feels like it needs more. Not an option. All right. All right, so first thing I was thinking to do, let me open up my uh, main screen here. So it's just this little duet between the violin and the alto flute, I think. Where's my alto flute? Here it is. Um, you know, alto flute is, a, is an amazing instrument, but I think what I was trying to capture here was this sort of uh, sensitivity and innocence between the dog and her, well, between the girl and her dog. And I like the violin there, but the alto flute isn't quite giving me that, that vibe. So I think I'm going to change that out to a different instrument and also really put a finer point on the entrances of the phrases to really sync up with what's happening in the video there. You know, it's such a, a naked spot. It's very exposed and there's some nice expressions and interchange between the characters and I think it's my job as the composer to to make the most of that. So first thing we're going to do is let's try First, I'm going to try low whistle here. Low whistle is essentially like a tin whistle that is bigger. <laughs> Let's see how that plays. Right, a little bit out of range there. Yeah, so that, that sound is a little bit more, I think, evocative of the feelings that are being exchanged here. Yeah, that's nicer. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so there's some uh, some performance things that are being triggered by whatever I have programmed in here. So let's tweak this out a little bit. Tweak it out. So with the different instruments in there, it gets a little bit of a different vibe. It plays a little differently. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put on the video so you can see what I see. All right, so the parts exchange places there. A lot of voice exchanging happening there. It seems to work for me. <laughs> All right, at this spot here, we go out of range of the low whistle, unless this sample. Huh. 
has some kind of goofy trigger that changes the articulation on that. I'll have to change some of the notes around a little bit, no problem. Expressive sample, I love it. Almost, let's get some better, uh, better voice leading in there. Might be a little bit weird that they both leap, leap up to a fourth there. Let me hear how that plays. That'll be a bit better. Let's uh, just make some small adjustments here so we can just get this little duet to be perfectly synced with the expression and emotional beats of this little scene. So this high kind of slide up to this high E. I think that should hit right when she she looks at the rock and her dog isn't there. better. Okay, so then here, this is where we get the duet. All right, so she looks, we just see the dog's tail, but maybe it should really enter more. The duet should happen when we see the dog. Let's see if this will work. So it'll just be the violin and then the, uh, the, low, the low whistle. That's a bit better. Very subtle. the dog's little bark to cut through in the melody.
seems a bit better. All right, so now she has this nice smile. Really awesome facial animations. Actually, I was just uh, watching this when I was uploading the videos to YouTube, and I was really admiring the the animation on, on all aspects, like the atmosphere and the lighting and the facial animations. Everything is just top-notch. What a great animation. All right, so... She sort of smiles right there, and we can get this little ornament, ornament, ornamented uh, flute attack right on the smile. Uh, maybe I'm reaching too far here. make it better or worse. little subtle changes just gave another few percentage points to to that all right let me take that off my list all right just a few more things to do and I think the score is done um all right right at the beginning I feel like there's not enough low-end elements Doesn't need it here. All right, here I just I just want to hear the low, the low parts a little bit more. So let me go and tweak these a little bit here. So. Yeah, these string libraries, I had to double them up with a different library before, so I'm going to do that again just here at the beginning. Just to fill out the sound a little bit. And there might be one other element I can put in there. All right, there's my cello. Again, once you switch libraries around, you get a different response from your programming. So let me have a better fade out here. Okay, that's a bit better. Just a, again, we're just aiming for improving things just a few more percentage points squeezing every last bit of goodness out of it as you possibly can I still feel like we could get something more all right so I do have tuba in there it's barely barely there let's just bring that up a touch <laughs> next part here again a little more in the low end oh and I want to see if I can sneak in another sitar hit here the sitar just has this uh, mystical quality that I, don't know, I guess it's just a cultural association here but 
you know, we see these sort of mystical elemental creatures make an appearance here. I wonder if I can get like a quiet sitar. good and I have this bass drone in here that is just hardly audible why I mean it's not even sounding what what is happening why are you not sounding Well, ain't that something? Hold on. Well, this is embarrassing. I had this whole thing an octave too low. Maybe this will solve all my problems. Silly me. Oh, dear. Well, this changes everything. some bottom end now. I must have uh, mistakenly transposed my bass parts down an octave out of range. <laughs> no wonder I made the note, needs more low end. <laughs> How about that? All right, let's check it.
I missed that. I mean, I'm thinking here, what happened to my low end? I thought I had low strings in there. I, I guess I got to put something else in. And I had it. And I must have mistakenly transposed. Well, all right. Now that I'm looking at this section, I feel like we just need one more timpani hit on this dominant chord right here at the mountains. Where are we here? Oh. Yeah. had the roll without an attack. Whoops. All right, and then the trumpets sort of do this heroic jump. Yeah, da, da. Let's see if we can. That might be a mixed thing when I get to mix it out. Let's see if we can bring it up a tiny bit. Ah, that sounded better. All right. All right, all right. Tin whistle at the introduction. One of my viewers pointed out that there was tin whistle at the beginning and either it got drowned out by other things or it got bumped or deleted or something. Maybe I wasn't being careful. And I think he's right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here it is. All right, let's listen to the introduction. Possible that it was just the alto flute there. And it might have been sort of orchestrated over. Tricky. Um, I don't think I want to double that. That might just have to be brought up in the mix. Now, yeah.
Well, I'll tell you what I'll do here is I'm going to start humanizing some of this stuff. And yeah, and add some a little bit of expression in the low strings at the end. And then after I uh, log out, I'm going to check what's going on there. Uh, I have to look at some of my other sessions here. I think it's just the orchestration got a little too rich, and it might have buried the alto flute. Now, if your orchestration teacher hears you say, I'll just bring it up in the mix, they'll give you an F in your orchestration class. But this is an orchestration class. This is music production, and you can always bring it up in the mix. So let's go on to humanization here. Um, expression, low strings in the final section here. Right now, it's just sort of balls to the wall in all the strings, all the low strings and, and viola. And I kind of like it that way. I think it's just a little bit at the end that we need a little bit more expression. Let's take a listen. <laughs> strings are more exposed they can't just be slamming away like that that's about it all right so I think the shape of these moves is expressive in itself, so I'm just gonna do a, just a gradual diminuendo. Just sort of dying, dying away, petering out. Let's start there. If it still feels like it needs some more expression, then we can put in more. And I had these strings doubled up again. And I think on the last track that I did for this channel, I actually went kind of overboard with the humanization. After I completed it and I was listening back, I think I made it uh, put too much, too much slop. Too much slop. It sounded like amateurs performing. So I'm going to keep this one a little bit tighter. I think um, actually only a few sections are actually going to need to be, we're going to need to add a tiny bit of slop. There's some like fast trumpet and percussion stuff and it sounds a little robotic so I'm going to add a little slop there. <laughs> Hmm. 
You know, now that I'm listening back to this, I think you change a couple notes in this as it winds down. So if we listen, let me see if I can kind of highlight this. There are these stepping down gestures, right? So it goes. Right, so that really makes it feel like it's winding down, but I think I need to also wind down, bring down some of these top notes. Let's see. This one. to just do that. I guess if I actually had all of the parts in there, there's a bassoon that I forgot about. Don't ever forget about your bassoonist. Wait a minute. Frankly, I think I'm making it worse. sort of build in a more of a of a 
to slow down here. You know, it was probably better before, and I just couldn't resist messing with it. You know what I think I'm trying to do? I know what I'm trying to do. I need to build in to the tempo more of a slowdown. to be timed so that this last note of the phrase is right on the title, the end title here. I think I had that before. All right, and that's going to shift everything over. Shift everything over. Let's try that. Just tweaking this tempo a little bit. This is one of those things where it's like you're pushing on one end of the balloon and the other end's popping out. You just gotta sort of shape it just right so... Uh. See if I can sneak in.
course, we need a symbol crash on that dramatic gesture. Now let's just start tweaking out some of these, uh, some of the expression here and there. Just sort of tying up the loose ends. All right, so this brass needs to have a better sort of diminuendo. And I think one last cymbal swell in there. It's a bit cleaner sounding. All right, tuba's already got it. See that those have those already. Let me check this one. fast swell in the symbol on this thing. here. Maybe the strings, maybe the violins here should just be 
maxed out. Alright, a little more humanization in some of the trumpet stuff here, right in this section. Just a little mechanical on this. This. The same thing is doubled in the xylophone, and together they sound a little too computerized. I don't think we need much. It's kind of a fast tempo. Let's not change the velocities. Oh, I need to randomize All right. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's it. Um going to listen back through the whole thing. The legato stuff I think sounds pretty good. There might be some spots where I need to nudge some of the um, parts over one way or another if the samples aren't speaking quite fast enough. But I think in general it, it sounds pretty clean. There might be some spots where there's fast repeated notes that are too mechanical. Let's listen. So good to have the low end back in there. Feels like I got a floor to stand on. Okay, here. Yeah. These repeated brass chords. Sounds a bit like a computer is doing Morse code. I think three operations sort of cleaned it up before. Let's see how that sounds. <coughs> Let's do the same deal. One, two, three.
Got these horn staccatos in here too. Too perfect. Too perfect. Actually, still looks really tight. We've got this going on. Clarinets. Do those as a batch. Just trying to loosen them up a little bit. Let's hear that. point some of the melodic instruments here like the violin I know these violins have a bit of a delay when they when they when they speak and they are triggered I'm just gonna nudge them all over a hair Except for this first one. <laughs> nice. All right. So then mallet percussion here. I don't know if that glockenspiel quartales. Two on the money. Even though it's slow, it just... It's just two on the money. And I think I'm gonna bring down the velocities a hair on all of these. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Computer, process those bits of data faster, would you? All right, we're almost done with this. These trumpet, slow trumpet fanfares. Let's loosen these up a touch. You know, this, uh, this sort of like Middle Eastern loop that I have in here twice, 
play it back for you. It's so loose. It's like the loosest players. Excellent. All right. That little flourish in the trumpets. I need to grab that. Just this. And I want to put a little silvery edge on that. Here, let me find that drum loop and play it for you. Boop, 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 boom, boom. Here it is, listen. Hold on, let me find a slower tempo. loose kind of loose i had an interesting experience a few months ago i was listening to muddy waters i was listening to uh some of my favorite muddy water songs and the the band is so so loose uh, just like the downbeat is wherever anybody wants it to be and i was really enjoying listening to that and then i switched up to huey lewis and the news and those guys are so tight so perfectly together no no I was listening to Huey Lewis and the news first and then I was listening to Muddy Waters so I was in the really tight perfectly timed groove of Huey Lewis and his band and then I listened to Muddy Waters and I had no sense of where the downbeat was in in their <laughs> playing and it felt like I was drunk like I couldn't find the tempo until I was able to kind of shift gears musically all right let's listen back one more time i think this is done when i sign out i'm going to uh investigate what's going on with the tin whistle or the flutes at the beginning i just suspect that it's this alto flute is just a little bit buried under some of the orchestration and i'm gonna have to bring it out in the in the mix a little bit when i get there which i'm almost there but I think I'm pretty much done. Let me just take a look at my notes and we'll, here, I'll play it back and I'll look at my notes while it's playing back.
right at the climax, the CPU died. But that's it. I think it's done. So when I sign off, I'm going to just check what's going on with the flutes at the beginning. Again, thank you, Simon, for pointing that out to me. I think it's just a, a levels issue. I'll bring that up in the mix, but I will find out for sure. That spot right there, right when it was about to climax and, and the CPU just gave up. Um, when I went to see Return of the King in theaters, I was so excited. It was those scores for the Lord of the Rings movies that got me into film scoring uh, and out of academia, thankfully. <laughs> and I was so excited to see the conclusion of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and right, spoilers, right at the uh, point where Bill, uh, Frodo and Gollum were in Mount Doom fighting over the ring and they were just about to go into the crack of Doom, the projector died and they couldn't fix it. So they gave us tickets to see it again. <laughs> Everyone was sort of at the edge of their seats, and uh, then the, the projector died. Anyway, good story, right? All right, well, thanks for watching. I think this is all wrapped up. I'm going to sign out and uh, see what's going on with those flutes at the beginning. It would probably just be a minor little tweak. And then I'll stem this out and start mixing it. Uh, I'll probably stem it out tonight. I don't think I'm going to live stream stemming. It's pretty boring. Um, and then we'll get started on the mix section. Uh, mix session. I'm very excited. This is, I think this turned out great. Uh, this is such a cool project. And again, thanks to the QTube for making this stuff available for composers. What an amazing thing they're doing. So thanks for that. And thanks for watching. I'll post this, post this up on YouTube in a little bit. Let me figure out what's going on with these flutes at the beginning. And then I think next time I'm live streaming, we will be mixing this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I'm on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all of the things. Bye.